All right, my idea is I can take these electric fence posts. I think these are quarter inch, not for sure. They don't say what size they are on there. I think they're quarter inch. Regardless, I'm going to cut the triangle off of them that holds them in the ground. I use these things a lot. I use them on the Toyota bumper whenever I built it. Uh, places that I'm not a very good fabricator needed a little fill in them. They're real soft metal. They bend real easy. They're real cheap. They're only like a dollar seventy nine a piece. Watch them jack the price up on them now that I'm going to start using them for different things. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this somewhere right about where it's at now in that hole on this side. It's going to be bent, come around, and it's going to have some sort of an angle to it. On this side, I'm going to do one on that side. I'm going to put one across the top to tie the two together. And then I'm going to bring one across the back and snap it down over the top of this. Nothing, None of this should be welded on. At best, I'm probably going to have to use a zip tie up there on each end of that to hold it. And then where this one here is going to make this 90 degree bend, it's just naturally going to hold itself. And I might actually just go off of the angle of that bolt right there and just head up with it. But that's kind of the idea of what I got in my head, if anybody can understand what I'm talking about. Most time, you can't really understand it from somebody telling you what they're wanting to do. I have a hard time doing that with Tater when he comes up with something in his brain and I'm trying to fill out what he's got going on and picture it in my brain and I have a hard time figuring that out. But if you can understand what I'm talking about and just kind of visualize it, there's going to be an arm like this, an arm like that. It's going to be one tying the two together and then there's going to be an arm coming back and hanging down over this and that's going to keep it from dipping down. And like I said, at best, I might have to take a zip tie and wrap around or some bellum wire, picture wire, and wrap around that. So if I get to hitting a bump, it's not sitting there flopping like this. So let's see what we get into. Got my shop chicken with me. I got a heck of a hole going on there. Dogs actually dug it. Now the chickens are getting down there and they're trying to cool off. But anyways, I figured I'd put this on here. I finally got all my triangles cut off. And all they do is just sit that in there and they put two tack welds on each end of it. Just grind off on them just a little bit and you literally what i done of course it was sitting the other way i just took a cutting wheel and just kind of polished it up a little bit grabbed a hold of it and i got it sitting in each lift arm on the tractor to help hold it i just grabbed it and i started pulling on it and it just popped right off and i'll just take a grinder and clean that up a little bit so it ain't got that rough edge on there now i'm ready to start doing some bending I had to go get my hat and my daggone shirt on. This sun is cooking me. And this shirt ain't doing me much better. Plus, I've got a cold front coming through today and cooling it off around here. But me and Mama went and did her grocery shopping this morning like 9 o'clock and it done said it was 82 degrees in the car. Anyways, I gotta find y'all somewhere to sit. All right, I got my little Hobart buzzer out. 
I tacked the corners up there and now I just bent these and just got them sitting there kind of eyeballing seeing what it looks like it don't look bad I'm gonna weld them on there of course the the top angles I'm gonna weld them on I'm just kind of getting an idea seeing what it looks like checking her out it looks hideous <laughs> but I've only got six dollars seven dollars wrapped up in this construction here with a couple zip ties holding it in place so it'll work and uh i'm gonna go ahead and burn them in up on top get it all cleaned up and i might go ahead and shoot some paint on it before i put my canopy over it and i'll be back here in a minute show you what that looks like all right i don't know about you all but me i hate snakes I don't care what kind of snake it is. Anything much more than a night crawler on the mega farm is going to die. I can't stand snakes. The other day, there was a snake stretched out over there in between the toolbox, which has got all my chainsaw stuff in it because I'm not out cutting trees right now. So I use my truck as a truck instead of out cutting timber with it. So I just pull the box out and I'll leave it sit there, load it back up with the tractor whenever I need it. But there was a daggone snake in between the toolbox and the shop the other day. And I think I probably could have jumped straight up and hurdled that garden tiller. Mm, black snake. That's all it was. But I don't care. Purple snake. It'd been a dead snake if I could have got my hands on him. So, the shop, the upper part where the green band is, that's loft. That's where I keep all my junk, like what I'm going to use for the canopy. That is where the canopy's at that I need to go get. And I haven't seen that snake since. And I've got a hunch he's inside the shop eating mice. If I get up in that loft, there's no stairs to it. You, you just got to climb like a squirrel to get up in there. If I get up in that loft and I come to nose to nose with this snake, I'm liable to set that thing on fire tonight. Y'all thought I was scared, wasn't you? Psh. Yeah, right, whatever. What scared of no stupid snake. I was ready to run though, that's for sure. But I got my tarp. Let me get it over here and get it all strushed out on top of the canopy. I didn't paint it yet. I don't know if I'm sweating because I was so nervous. Or if it's just that hot in that building, but I'm pouring the sweat now. Alright, so here's the finished product. I had one piece left over that actually fit just dead perfect right in between there. I don't know how that happened, but it worked out slick, and I just put it in between there as a brace. Okay, 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 we'll show everybody. They love eating all these cicadas. Southern Indiana, we have cicadas around here like crazy. Listen, see if you can hear them. Quiet. We're talking about cicadas. There's, no. Well, that might be one of their holes. They live in the ground, I guess, and they come out like every 7 or 17 years. I don't know. But the chickens are eating them like candy. I got some Rust-Oleum hammered black paint that I'm going to put on. I like the way this hammered looks. I'm going to spray it on there and dry it up real good, and then I'm going to get it mounted on the tractor. And I got the canopy laying over here. I ain't done nothing with it yet, so I got to get it cut and get it strung over the top. My next project is tackling this bumper. I did not bend that. Bought the tractor used, and that bumper is driving me up the wall. Look how crooked it is. I ended up putting a new grill in it. The old boy I bought it from, he ran something through the grill and got lucky that it didn't hurt nothing else. Of course, the battery's right behind the grill, so at worst, he might have had to put a new battery in it. But whatever he done, I'm assuming, happened with the grill and the bumper all at the same time. But I put a new grill in it last week. Ah... Uh, slowly fixing it back up the way that i like it instead of just beating on it all the time like what that guy was doing got a tiller box from him it's sitting back on the back side of the shop a tiller box um he had two bent tines on it ended up having to get two new tines for it he bent the brackets that the tines goes on so work in progress all right so here it is finished i got it all painted up put some zip ties on it to hold the net down I like it. Comes out about perfect to where you ain't got to worry about being visibility wise sitting in it. The sides on it kind of 
protects your head and your neck a little bit. Mama said that I need to put something over the back, and she's probably right. But I got plenty of the stuff left. If I want to just, I'm just using zip ties, putting it on. I can just lay a sheet across the back and be, use it like a curtain. Just let it drop down when you're mowing. And if it gets to be a problem or whatever, just roll it back up and put it back up at the top. I got plenty of the stuff left. I bought it from Rule King a couple years ago and I used it on the back. My side by side had a roof on it and I used that on the back instead of putting a back glass in it. Because you put a back glass and a front glass in a side by side and you get this funneling effect where all the dirt and everything just stays inside of it. So a lot of people takes one or the other windshield out and uh, it don't funnel that dirt in there. Well, I put that, I put a windshield on the front of mine and I want to keep the heat off of her neck and when he's riding. So I put that stuff on the back just like this here and it just shades your neck. So I'll probably end up having to doing something like that back here to keep the sun off of you because sun's coming down as you're mowing this direction. It's beating on your neck. But I think it's kind of cute. That ought to work pretty good.